This video looks at using the Sokatoa equations to find missing sides when we know one angle and one side. Now the first step is always to identify which sides are involved, which one is the unknown and which one is the known. Now in the first one the 13 is the hypotenuse, it's opposite the right angle. But the unknown is opposite the angle, so that's called the opposite. And we then identify which of the equations uses opposite and hypotenuse, well it's the sine equation. So sine, now the x here in the equation is the angle, not the x in the question. So sine of the angle, in this case 42, is equal to opposite, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. So to find x, I need to rearrange this equation by timesing by 13. So x equals 13 lots of sine 42. So I input that into my calculator as I see it, 13 times sine of 42. And I get 8.7. So x has a length of 8.7. OK, the second one. We have a known and an unknown. Now the unknown y is opposite the angle, so that's the opposite. Whereas the 10, it's not the hypotenuse, it is next to the angle, it is the adjacent. So again, adjacent opposite is tan. So tan of the angle, 37, equals opposite y over the adjacent. So again, to find y, I must rearrange the equation by timesing by 10. So y is 10 lots of tan 37. So I input that into my calculator. 10 lots of tan of 37, and the answer is 7.5. So y has a length of 7.5. Now then, the third one angle, known, unknown. The unknown is opposite the right angle, that is the hypotenuse. This side here is next to the angle, it is the adjacent. So adjacent hypotenuse is cos. So cos of the angle, which is 41 in this case, is the adjacent 13 over Q, which is the hypotenuse. Now then, this is a bit different to the first two equations, because the unknown is now below the equation. So to rearrange this requires two steps. I first of all times up by Q. So Q lots of cos 41 is equal to 13. I've times by Q like I times by 10 and 13 here. So to find Q I now divide by cos of 41. So Q is 13 divided by cos of 41. So I input that into my calculator so 13 divided by cos of 41, and I get 17.2. So Q has a length of 17.2. The skills are to identify the two sides in the question, to write down the equation, and then to solve it either using the one-step method when we want the known on top of the equation, or the two-step method when the unknown is beneath the equation. That is Sokar Toa, finding sides. This video talks through how to find missing angles when you know two sides. Now then, the first step is to label the sides either opposite, adjacent or hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is always the longest side opposite the right angle. So hypotenuse hypotenuse, hypotenuse. From the first triangle, that's not given, but we give them the side opposite the angle. So that's the opposite, and we know the other side, which is next to the angle, that's called the adjacent. Right then, we then identify which of the Sokatoa equations to use. Now, we know the opposite and the adjacent, 
so we use the tan equation. So tan of x is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, or 5 twelfths. Then to find out x, we have to do the inverse tangent function, or shift tan on the calculator, or inverse tan. So it's inverse tan of 5 twelfths. So we put that into our calculator and we get the answer which is 22.6 degrees. At the second question, we know two different sides. Here's our angle. One of them is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. This one here is not opposite the angle, it's therefore the adjacent. So we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we identify which of the equations uses those two sides. It's the cos ratio. So cos of x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So 4 thirteenths. So to find x, we do the inverse cos of 4 over 13. So we put that into our calculator. Inverse cos of 4 divided by 13 and we get 72.1 degrees. So the final one, here's our angle. Now that one there is the hypotenuse and this side is opposite the angle. So that's the opposite. So opposite hypotenuse, it's the sine equation. So sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse. So to find x, we do the inverse sine of 5 over 10, or a half. So we get x equals 30 degrees. So there we go. That is how to use sine, cos and tan to find missing angles.